Hello, uh, this is Latimer, and this is a follow-up video to util utilizing pen tool and why is it so important to try to create as few points as possible when replicating a piece of art object. For instance, let's go ahead and draw an art object utilizing some of our basic shapes. Let's go ahead and find out what we're gonna do. We're not gonna do a fill. We're gonna go ahead and do an elliptical tool. And then we're going to draw maybe a different tool. Let's go ahead and draw a Let's go ahead and use a round tool. Oh, I don't want to do a round tool. I want to do a rectangle tool. Let's see, a rectangle tool, right? And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a rectangle tool and I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and use Okay, let's go ahead and use another rectangle tool. There we go. So there's our basic shapes. Let me go ahead and combine them. Let's combine all of the shapes together. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, merge visible. Oh, I'm just going to flatten them all. That's fine. Flatten the image. There we go. I want all of them to be uh, a single image, right? Nothing distinguishing one versus the other. So no, there's, there's my image. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this rectangle tool. There you go. The next thing I'm gonna do is, what am I gonna do? I am going to just select this color and make it prettier because, I don't know, I just want to make it prettier because I'm kind of don't like what I'm seeing and what I don't like these outlines. I kind of didn't like these outlines that I'm seeing right here. See that? I'm not using a zoom tool very much and it would be better if I had a hard brush, that would be actually even better. If I had a hard brush, I can actually do better work. Let's go ahead, there we go. There's one and there is two, there we go. Got rid of all of this, perfect. So now we have a shape, right? And this is gonna be about a pen tool. So in order to create a nice selection, we would wanna put a point here. Uh, let's change the color. Since we are using red, let's go ahead and change the color to blue so we can actually see light blue, default blue. There we go. So I wanna just basically put points at the inflection points, right? Where there's a sharp angle, where I do not need a curvy line, right? That's why I drew this little sharp angle, right? And there's my points. I'm gonna go ahead and connect them. So there's all my points. I'm gonna go ahead and move this point right here a little into the corner, oh, control Z. I just need to move this one point, select it. I'm using control to align the point. There we go. I'm gonna use control to align this point. Right? And over here, I'm gonna use the Alt key to create a handle. Now I want this line straight, and I use the Alt key to create a handle here. And I want the line that's going to the right to be straight. See that? So now I'm gonna play with these two handles and this loop to give me the perfect curve. How is that gonna look like? Well, let's find out. That's not looking very good. 
I need an extra point. You see what's happening? I'm not able to get this line to this edge. So I need an extra point. So let me go ahead and add a point, use the Alt key to move this point to the edge. I'm gonna use these handles to create my perfect, somewhat perfect semicircle. And now you see why I did not just a plain circle, but I did this entire shape because that adds a little bit of complexity to what I'm about to do. And there is my circle. There is my shape, a red shape, right? Now that I have the shape, I can look at my path and give it a name. Now I have a shape. So now I can take the shape, right? And let's see, this is going to be, oh, I'm gonna change this to a combination shape. And I'm gonna go ahead, Control Z, create, out of this shape, I'm gonna go ahead, edit and create a new um, defined custom shape. I'm just gonna go ahead and say shape. I don't know what shape it is, right? So now I can go ahead and select the custom shape. I'm just waiting for the window to close. There we go. There is the window, collect the custom shape, and there is my custom shape. I can actually draw the shape right on the screen. Uh, let's go ahead and change the stroke. Well, I'll change it in a second, right? Change the stroke to green and the stroke to none, right? And now I have a green shape. Right? So there is my shapes that I, that I have. Now, the reason I attached this part to it is so you can see the different ways of me creating this particular shapes. Notice I'm using as few points as I need to in order to accommodate this shape. Let's go ahead and create a different shape. Let's go ahead and repeat the process that I just did. Right, let's go ahead and select the pen tool. Let's create another shape. And we're gonna repeat the process But now I'm just gonna go crazy and add a whole bunch of points because nobody taught me how to use those handles. I'm particularly talking about the book. And it's close, but notice the, the shape is not accurate. It's actually not a circle. It's kind of weird looking, right? So let's go ahead and modify the shape a little bit. Okay. Let me convert this to a path. Uh, it is a path. Okay, that's fine. Let me convert, see these points now? Oh, excuse me. See these points now? Now I have to work with all of these points in order to get this somewhat on a curve and it'll never be a perfect curve, right? No matter what I do, because I have all of these points, it'll never be a perfect curve. See, I'm just trying to fix my mistakes by using all of these handles. It looks like it's fixing it, right? But it truly is not because when I go ahead and I go edit and I go ahead and I go to define custom shape. Notice this custom shape that we just defined. Let's go ahead and look at it. Let's go ahead and select shape and let's see the other custom shape. 
let's go ahead and draw it out here. This is the shape with all of these points. Now look at the difference. If we zoom in, look at this circle, how it looks. Look at all the different angles it has. It doesn't look like a very nice circle. This one was done with three dots. It looks a little bit better. See that? It looks smoother compared to this one. Don't look at the size, look at the actual line and how smooth it looks. One made with a lot of points, one made with as few as possible points. The curves look smoother. That's all the demonstration I actually wanted to say. Now let me see if, I, since I did restart, let me see if I can delete all these paths, get rid of all of this stuff, right? Uh, there's my layers and channels. I don't need any of that. Let me toss it in the trash. Come on. Let me create a new layer and toss this layer in the trash. Now let's see if I can actually delete some of this stuff. Right click, delete shape. Okay. Right click. Let's see if I can delete this shape. Oh, I'm not able to delete this shape. How about this one? I'm not able to delete this shape. I'm gonna have to find out why I'm not able to delete these shapes. I should be able to delete this, these shapes, right? So I'm just gonna put them in here. I'm gonna find out later why I'm not able to, it's not giving me an option to delete this particular shapes, right? Am I able to delete these shapes? Nope. I might have to restart my Photoshop one more time in order for me to be able to delete some of these shapes. Let's see. Unconstructed, defined, okay. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you for this particular lesson. Uh, email me, text me, let me know what you think. Um, I'll speak to you later.